couple of words about thank yous actually to people who've helped me put together this presentation. Um, first of all, the BFI viewing service, uh, particularly Kathleen Dixon and Steve Tolovey, who lives in the basement in Stephen Street. <laughs> um, Martin Sheffield, who, without whose help, we couldn't have done this actually. Um, and of course, Bryony Dixon, who, um, well, pushed me again. Um, I'd also like to thank BFI Library staff for their help in researching some of these films. Already I've uh, been pointed out two errors on my notes, so <laughs> any, any other mistakes I'd, I'd be gratefully received afterwards. Um, I'd like to thank the operators, Thomas and Jonathan, for putting together a quite difficult show, hopefully. And uh, several other people who helped me, I'll just mention their names. Glenn Mitchell, who synced the two um, discs from the British Library with the films, with the photo films. <coughs> Louise Stein, who helped me with knowledge about opera and ballet, which I was lacking in greatly. Alex Gleason, music credits. And Luca Kernan for making available the um, photo tone records from the British Library. Um, this actually is a follow up to a presentation we gave here two years ago. Um, the, the, the difference is that this is much more complex. And I'll now hand over to my co conspirator, John Sweeney, to talk about that. I just want to say a few words about the music for the silent films in this. Uh, we've managed to find all the music uh, cues referred to in, in, in the films, apart from in two films. One is the Margaret Morris film and the other is the Laban film. Um, we found all the, all the credits for them and uh, for the Johann Strauss and Songs of France film, um, Gunter will be playing with me. Uh, for the first film, um, Philip Carly will be playing because I heard him do this six years ago and I can still remember it. Uh, and for the Laban film, I'm very pleased to welcome Robert Coleridge, who's the head of music at the Laban Centre. Um, just one point about the last film, Fawn. Um, I think this is a very significant film because, as far as I'm aware, it's the first film of um, the first British ballet company, Ballet Rombert. Uh, and it's made of, of course, of the famous Didinsky choreography, which Marie Rombert assisted Didinsky on uh, at the premiere. Um, so it's an extraordinary record of, of, of a choreography, but otherwise um, we have no record of anywhere near the date of, of, of when it was made. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, a classical selection entitled Memories of Tchaikovsky, in which the Celeste Octet will endeavor to demonstrate to you that music and music stands are entirely unnecessary. Even a leader is not required, whilst I myself am relegated entirely to the background.